in last lecture we have studied two cases of symmetry properties consider the case 3 in which both x of n and its dft that is x of k are complex valued we'll try to consider this case here we'll consider a discrete signal x of n which is complex in nature it means that it consists of real part as well as imaginary part so i can represent it as real part as x r of n and imaginary part as j x i of n where r indicates real part of x of n and this is imaginary part of x of n that is for n is equal to 0 1 2 up to n minus 1 considering n point dft similarly we will assume that x of k is dft of this discrete signal x of n it can be represented as x r of k that is real part of x of k plus j capital x of i of k that is imaginary part of x of k in which for k is equal to 0 1 2 up to n minus 1 the dft of the discrete signal x of n which is complex in nature we'll call it as equation a we'll call it as equation b now we know that dft of any discrete signal x of n is given by x of k and it can be represented as n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n twiddle factor w n power n k now substituting the value of x of n from equation a that is i can represent it as n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n we have considered it as complex value that is x r of n plus j x i of n this is x of n w n power n k so this can also be represented as summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of n plus j x i of n now i will represent this twiddle factor value as e power minus j 2 pi by n into n into k further i can simplify this as summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of n plus j x i of n so we know that e power minus j theta is cos theta minus j sin theta. In a similar way, I can represent it as in terms of cos as cos 2 pi by n into n into k minus j sin 2 pi by n into n into k. We will try to simplify this as summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 i'll multiply this real part with entire this value that is i can represent it as x r of n into cos 2 pi by n into n into k minus x r of n into j i can write uh, j here j x r of n into sin 2 pi by n into n into k plus now i will multiply this term with this both terms i can get j x i of n cos 2 pi by n into n k minus here j into j is j square my j square x i of n 
साइन टू पाई बाय एन इनटू एन के सो नो फर्दर आई विल ट्राई टू सिंपलीफाई दिस इक्वेशन एस समेशन एन इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन दिस टर्म आई विल राइट इट एस इट इज एक्स और ऑफ एन कॉस टू पाई बाय एन इनटू एन इनटू के J square value is minus one, therefore minus one. This minus will become plus. So I can add with this. That is, I can write it as plus x i of n sine two pi by n into k. The remaining. I will take this as. Separate term, then j term I will write separately. That is minus j, and I will write the summation separately. N is equal to zero to n minus one. We have x r of n sine two pi by n into n k, and here we have plus. So already we have written here minus. So I'll take it as minus as j is common minus x i of n cos two pi by n into n k. Comparing with equation B, this will be x r of k. And this will be x i of k. So therefore, I can write real part of x of k is equal to summation n equal to zero to n minus one, and this entire term that is x r of n cos two pi by n into n k plus X i of n sine two pi by n into here n is missing n k and similarly we have x i of k is equal to that is imaginary part which is nothing but summation n is equal to zero to n minus one. X R of n here we'll get sine term first sine two pi by n into n k minus X I of n cos two pi by n into n k. So this is real part and imaginary part of X of k when X of n given X of n is complex valued. Now we will try to find x of n from x of k, where x of k is complex number. Uh, we know that x of n is given by one over n. That is idea of the equation. Summation k equal to zero to n minus one x of k. E power j two pi by n into n into k, where n is equal to zero, one, two, up to n minus one. Here we know that x of n is a complex value. That is, x of n is nothing but x or of n plus j x i of n. Is equal to one over n summation k equal to zero to n minus one. Here x of k is nothing but real part of x of k plus j x i of k. That is imaginary part of x of k. E power this e power can be expressed in terms of cos and tan sine terms as cos. 
टू पाई बाई एन इंटू एन के प्लस जे साइन टू पाई बाई एन इंटू एन के नाउ सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस फर्दर आई कैन राइट वन ओवर एन समेशन के इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाय दिस एक्स आर ऑफ के विथ दीज टू टर्म्स दट इज एक्स आर ऑफ के कॉस टू पाई बाय एन एन के प्लस जे एक्स आर ऑफ के साइन टू पाई बाय एन इंटू एन के प्लस एल मल्टीप्लाय दिस टर्म जे x i of k cos 2 pi by n into n k plus j square that is j into j j square x i of n sin 2 pi by n into n k let us simplify this further I can I can separate now real part and imaginary part as one over n summation k equal to zero to n minus one. We have x r of k cos two pi by n into n k. Here we can see that j square value is nothing but minus one. So I can write this term here. J square means minus one, so that this term will be minus x i of n sine two pi by n into n k. I will write here minus x i of n sine two pi by n into n k. Similarly, plus j one over n summation k equal to zero to n minus one. We have x r of k sine two pi by n into n k plus x i of k cos two pi by n into n. So now comparing this L H S with R H S, I can say x r of n. Is nothing but this part is x r of n and x i of n is nothing but this term. This is x i of n. So thus, these are real part and imaginary part of discrete signal x of n, which is de derived from x of k, where x of k is. complex number thank you for watching